Welcome back to Gale Bears Repairs. Today, we're going to change the anti-roll bar drop links on this 2010 Jeep Patriot. In the US, they may be called the sway bar links. Right, let's get on with it. We're down in the uh, near side wheel arch or the left hand side of the vehicle. And we're going to be replacing this link arm here. So it's that link arm there that we're renewing. So here's our new one. Just a ball joint each end with a nut. Nothing special, but these can seize on. These can be really bad. You need to cut them off with the angle grinder. All right, I'll stick you on a uh, tripod and we'll remove them. All right, all we're doing is under the nut there and a nut there. So I've got a 14 mil there. We'll put him on, we'll crack him off with a hammer. See whether he comes away. Oh, and they got away with these because sometimes these can really seize up. So we'll see what happens. Get the ratchet on him. Oh, we've got away with this. <laughs> Normally these are seized beautiful normally these are seeds and you can't get them out so in that situation there look I don't know if you can see in the center there let me focus in the center there is an allen key you may have to get an allen key in the center there and hold it whilst I'm doing the nut so this was come on lovely come away beautifully so now we'll try the bottom one see what happens there Bit more, bit more awkward to get to. I'll oh, crank the hammer on that one. Let's try the ratchet. It's still 14 mil. Yeah, you don't want to come up. Ah, yeah, I got it. Oh, these are coming off nicely. They don't ever come off this easily at all. And all you do, hit him there, crack him out, and there, it's off. <laughs> so easy. Um, here's the defect on this. Focus, come on. So here's the defect, it's the split rubber. So there's nothing wrong with the ball joint, but the MLT rules in the UK stipulate you're not allowed the uh, rubber shroud to be split. Right, so we've got the new one. The only thing that you've got to do here, put some grease on here. Oh, that's way too much. And on the bottom one, or the upper. So we just want a bit of copper grease or anti-seize compound just so this is easy to get off in the future. Whoever put these on before must have put some grease on them because they come off lovely. Right, so that's all you need to do. Right, so all we do, feed that one through the bottom, through the actual anti-roll bar itself and then feed him through there. So we may have to bend the roll bar down a bit to get into a line. So I'm just gonna push down there, like I'll just squeeze him to get the top one to line up. If I can grow some, I will. <laughs> I'll get a bar and uh, prise him. Right, so I've got a pry bar. I'm just gonna pop it down through the hole in the wishbone there, get him in there. And then I can just, just bend the wishbone and then, we, and then we can get the alignment there. It's not much, just a bit of spring. There he goes, look. There, so he's popped in. There he is. Now we can catch the nuts. Don't forget to catch your nuts. <laughs> Spin him on. 
this grease is important here it's nice and it'll be good for removal in the future so we'll just get them in spin them in and then all we've got to do is tighten these up there we go nice firm nip on these we don't want to cream them up but we don't want to uh, have them too loose we want them firmly tightened up all right just the bottom one this is where the flex head ratchet's nice. You can properly get in and around there. It's nice to have a, just generally to have a set of flex head ratchets. There we go. So tighten that up. Don't force the ratchet, you'll break the ratchet on it. So now we'll do them up with the, uh, with the actual ratchet. There he goes, nice and tight. And again, there, nice and tight. So that's done. That is your anti-roll bar link done, or your sway bar link if you're in the US. Little tip for the future, for the next person. Smack a bit of grease around here and fill up the end of there where the uh, Allen bolt is. Fill it up to prevent corrosion. So if these are gonna be changed any time in the future it just should be easier for the next person who's coming behind you and it may be you doing the job well that's it well that went a little too easy they don't normally come off that uh, that easy with the uh, nuts but I think they were previously greased if you refer to some of my previous videos I think the Ford KA or Ford K video previously I'll put it in the uh, I'll put it in a link now. That's what can happen. You've got to cut them off with an angle grinder and get yourself in trouble. So um, before you even start this job, this went too easy. Have an angle grinder with a cutting disc available to you because that's the normal end result of this job. You've got to cut them off. So refer to my previous video. It'll be up in the, the uh, a box above me in a minute. So if you found this uh, video useful, and it's been informative, could you please like, subscribe and share, and I'll see you next time.